Hey, what is up, YouTube? This is Chris or Lunar Man here with uh, Jcross24 Ham. And yeah, we're going to be playing some Notched or Untoten original. Original. The original zombie Original here. zombie map. We're going to see how far we can get with no perks. No perks. We're just going to hang out, much. kind of play, relax. Was it Friday night? No, I think it's actually Monday or Saturday. No, it's not Saturday morning yet. No, it is not. So, and, Luna Man. Yeah. Um. What? When did you start playing zombies? Or um, Call of Duty zombies. It was actually in like grade school, <laughs> or like. Oh, I actually played the original Nocturne and Toten first on. Uh, what Xbox 360 when it first came out, like back in 2008. And then you know I didn't play for a little bit. Then I played in high school, college. Picked it back up on Black Ops, and it was the best thing ever. So, what, what about was your favorite map, or what to this day is your favorite map? My favorite map, it's probably I don't know. I like Darius. I like Ascension. Uh, I don't know maps that are easy to train on and that aren't too hard. Yeah. So, so like, yeah, this may come to a surprise to you, but um. I played Call of the Dead um, mm -hmm. when I came out. I played it because my brother bought it. I played with him and his friends. But other than that, the first map pack I bought on release and played a lot was Mob of the Dead. So you started playing Zombies to Black Ops too. Yeah, and then after Mob of the Dead came out, I played that like nonstop for like three days. <laughs> I did buy uh, Die Rise. So I bought Die Rise, but that was until like a month after it came out because my yeah. friend said it was really fun. But I, yeah, I started at Mob of the Dead. And so after that, then I bought all of the older maps and I've been playing them a lot, but. So you my played like the Black Ops maps, right? Yeah. Cool. cool. I played Call of the Dead a few times. But not yeah, so that, one was, that one was alright. I don't really know how I felt about that one. It it would have been good if there wasn't George or the fog. Other than yeah. that, the map design's good. The color's good. Well, there's not like, the lack of color's good. Yeah. Um, yeah we, were, we were talking about that earlier. How a lot of the zombie maps are like dark colors and depressing and like death and destruction and stuff. Yeah, like there's that. only really one exception to that, and that would be Die Rise. Yeah, Die Rise is pretty normal. Except for like the whole skyscraper is like destroyed. That's not really normal at all. Yeah. What gun is this? Oh. No, I don't want that gun. I have I'm, like, AK. I'm gonna get the M1 carbine. I'm like out of ammo. <laughs> yeah, I'm almost out. Oh, there's another zombie over here. Yeah, I think there was two more, maybe? No, maybe just one more. Where's the last uh, one at? There it is. Yeah, the spawns on this map, they take a really long time. But my opinion, this is going to be biased on my favorite map, but it's Mob of the Dead. Mob of the Dead? Because that's really what got me hooked. Yeah. And the thing is, the reason why I got like so addicted to it then is because my very first run at Mob of the Dead, without like not knowing anything, I got to like 20. That's pretty good. And so after that, I was like, wow, this is act it like came natural to me. Yo, I blew so hard when I started playing zombies. I didn't even know what training was. Yeah. For me, I was just like, um... I'm just gonna run, like... <laughs> just it took run me a while to realize good. you can outwalk the zombies. Yeah, me So too. I would constantly be sprinting. Yeah, but... You don't have to. I just would avoid them. It, was, it, would, it made the most sense to me. <laughs> I would try, but I'd get caught and die. Yeah. But then other than, um... Other than Mob of the Dead, because that's a bias, because that was my first map. This may be a surprise, because a lot of people hate these maps. I love Shangri-La on Moon. Shangri-La? That's like the worst map. It's uh, hard, and that's it why hard, I like it. Because you can't really train that well. Yeah, because it's so close quarters. Well, then again, so is Mob of the Dead, which might be kind of why I like it, but Mob of the Dead had Electric Cherry, so... Yeah. That made the close quarters way easier to deal with. And but then, yeah, Moon I love. A lot of people hate Moon. I like it. I like Moon. 
Um, if, but if then, I had it on the PC, I'd play Moon a lot. But because Moon, you, you can get Jug first round. You can even get Mustang and Sally first round as well. Which is really good. Yeah, and then you have on round one you have two bazookas and Jug. If and if you, you train in the biodome, there's just, it's just hard to, there's no corners forever. to get stuck on. Oh, the STG. So much better than the last guns I got. Oh, yeah. The scoped car 98K and then <laughs> the car 98K. And then a car 98K. But, uh, yeah, the first song you have that I really started playing was uh, Kino, Der Tur Kino Der Toten, which was the... Um, oh, oops. I think I got a pretty good gun, too. You ready for it? Alright. Ah. Ray gun. But... I don't know, I actually like um, Shino Numa. I like pretty much all the World at War maps. Verrupt oh, is even me. pretty fun sometimes. For me, the World at War maps, you can never go wrong with. Like, if you're bored and you want to play some... You can never go wrong with. They're all good. The thing is, they're not, like, memorable. To me, to be the best map, it'd be something, like, down the road you'll remember. Yeah. I guess if I would have played World at War, like, especially when... Like the people who just beat the campaign, and then there's like, oh, there's a zombie mode. That's it's like, what like is this? I guess, this is brand new. Yeah, I guess if I would have started like back then, but I was, I was too young. I was a youngin back when World at War came out. The first Call of Duty I ever played, I played one, two, and three on my PS2. <laughs> I didn't even play those. I played Modern Warfare 2 is when I uh, started. My Call of Duty career started. I think mine was actually Black Ops because when I played World of War Zombies the first time, it was on a friend's uh, console. Like I didn't even know Call of Duty was like that big when I started playing Modern Warfare 2. And then yeah, it was like the biggest thing then, and now it's like kind of fallen off. It hasn't fallen off, but people have got their expectations up too much. In yeah, my opinion, like, like Just make it better, make it better. It's in my not... opinion, the games are got have gotten better. Mm -hmm. But people's people's like expectations are so high. The reason why people what like the considered the greatest Call of Duty is Modern Warfare, like the first Modern Warfare, like Modern Warfare Four. Yeah, the or yeah, no, like, COD Four, Modern Warfare. Yeah, Modern Warfare, Call COD Four. Yeah. The reason why people consider that the best is because at the time th they didn't really expect much. Right. So they came in being like, oh, this game is actually really, really fun. And then ever since then, people are expecting so much out true, of... True, true. And I, I, the exception to that is Ghost. I didn't, I didn't like Ghost at all. But other than that, they keep saying these CODs are terrible, but... I mean, I can see why they said that Black Ops 2 was terrible, because it it's kind of, it, I mean, it really was. It was kind of just a remake of Black Ops, but people wanted something new, and they didn't really get it. Yeah, I got Because there was, like, down. so many, like, remake maps. Like, they remade Firing Range, they remade yeah. um, Summit. I, the remade max, the, the rewritten, the, but I can't, English, please. The remade maps isn't what, I actually didn't mind those. I mean, I wouldn't either because I love Black Ops. Yeah. Um. Well, the thing is, we if you think about like the people who always complain about Call of Duty, are the people like when do they start complaining? Like very rarely they complain when it first came out. Mm -hmm. It's after they put in like two days worth of playing into the game. Right. Like they people play it so much. Like when Black Ops 2 came out, I remember everyone thought this game was amazing, and then like th that summer before Ghost came out, everyone was just saying it's the worst game ever because everything has happened. Yeah, like, like it was just their experience has been like was done. Yeah. And then they just every time they die they'd be like, Oh, I should have lived because they've had really good games. Right, right. And they've had like these they then like again they get their expectations up and they expect to go like fifty positive every game. Yo, and so I, then, just, I just blow with that game. I just play it for fun. I think earlier yeah. I was playing a couple games. I went like 16 and 17 with a sniper. And then the game before well, that's that... That's not bad for a like, sniper. Yeah, the game before that I was like freaking 4 and 13 or something. <laughs> I'm just really bad at them. But then I'm think about it now. Fun. Now that Ghost came out, I don't I don't think you've actually... I don't know if you've played Ghost. Yeah. But everyone who... Like, 
all like the big Call of Duty players are saying Black Ops 2 is the greatest Call of Duty ever. Mm -hmm. Now that Ghost came out, and then everyone's going back to it just because right, their expectations got lowered because they were so high with Ghost. Yeah. So I think it, yeah, that's my opinion on Call of Duty. I don't know, but Black Ops is fun. I will say that I freaking hate the map hijacked. I hate that map so much. It's very shotgun friendly. It's very like, I don't know, I like circular maps I guess, and that's just like a line. Yeah. Lines are are really helpful for snipers. Yes. And I can't snipe is the only reason why I don't like snipers. I like sniping, I just can't do it very well. Yeah. Like Sometimes when you I die by a sniper, games. other guns you have like a chance to react. Mm -hmm. Like the sniper, you're dead so instantly. It's kind of like a shock. Yeah. So then you like, oh wow, it's unfair. I didn't even have a chance to react. But when you think about it, snipers are like the worst guns in the game. Hmm. Debatable. I s I can see why you say that, but I mean, if you, they you put yourself at a kill, disadvantage when you snipe. Yeah. Unless uh, you're long range, really you can good. be outgunned by like just machine guns because they can shoot a lot. Yeah, and if you miss, then you're pretty much screwed, so you can't yeah. miss. But it is a one-shot kill. Which is good. Well, it's... I'm Unless gonna you shoot him in the toe. Yeah. It's usually a one-shot kill, but in my case, I get hit markers. <laughs> I like how I have a ray gun, but I'm still using the Thompson. Yo, the ray gun didn't get you any points. You can't use a ray gun. Yeah, well, it's... Kino, or not Kino, uh, Nacho and Tone. We don't yeah. need points. Yeah, that's true. I'm set with these two guns for the rest of the game. Like points, what are points? Honestly. Yeah, I've got the Browning. That's what I see. Not and bad. And like, I don't remember my other gun. It is, um, it, oh, the STG. What is your, do you, do you ever see the Origins Easter egg? Like that ending cutscene? Uh, no, I haven't. Oh. Well, I'm gonna give you the spoiler. Basically, all the zombies is is um, Rick Toffin and Samantha playing with action figures. Dude, I need to look that up on YouTube. Oh shit! The cutscene. <laughs> yeah. Um, a lot of people were really mad at that cutscene. Yeah, cause because Samantha was the... gonna end zombies. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that might be. I hope it doesn't. I it's, don't think it will. Oh, whoops. Uh, um, but Samantha's the chick in uh, Moon, right? Yes, Samantha is Max. I don't know if you know like the storyline, but is Max's uh, daughter, Rick Toffin's mentor. Yeah. The scientist. Mm, yeah, I'll, I'll have to say that I don't really follow the storyline. I just play him. Yeah. Oh, I did it for the longest time. Like, obviously, because my time hasn't been very long, mm -hmm. but. Even I wa after Origins is when I got into the storyline, and I'm gonna tell you, it, just watch like one video on it. The storyline could be a movie. Really? It's yeah, it's good. Secretly, like this fun game mode could be a movie. Yeah. And a lot of people like don't know that. Balls. You need a you need a ray gun. I know. Well, I got I got hit from the side. Yeah. This map's hard. If you get to 20 on this map, solo or... Yo, we need to go camp soon. Yeah, it's about that, it's about that time. <laughs> it's about that camping time. Um, I'm going to... Yeah, try not to get down. Yeah, just clean out the round, because I got 7,000 oh, points. Oh, alright. Um, I, I almost got good. downed. <laughs> alright, I'm down. I might be able to come get you, though. Nah, I'm already dead. So, yeah, never mind. Funny you get to see my minimal PC skills at action. Oh man. <laughs> Those training skills though. Yeah, the, once you learn to train, you know how to train. PC, console. Whatever. Yeah. Basically all training is is just... You know like games... Uh, oh shoot, I've had a really good analogy. But it's basically just find the open spot. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna open up this. Oh, already, it's been opened. Already did. Uh, you need protection. Uh, I'll probably just get like one more gun. Trojan. Or should I get right. something. 
<laughs> Hopefully I get something besides the Car 98 and Molotov cocktails, so I can actually kill things. You can buy the Thompson if you need to, man. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I Go buy the Thompson, yeah, you might want to yeah, buy the Thompson. Or the bar, since the bar is near. Oh. Yeah. Alright, I'm going oh, upstairs. No zombies have spawned in yet. We broke the game. I feel as if sometimes I did, I have broken the game before. I obviously haven't, but... Watch out behind you. Yo, what the heck, the zombie was just climbing through the window, and I was rebuilding it. It's like, yo, zombie, calm down. I'll let you get points so you can keep hitting up the box, I'll just protect you when you need it. Ooh, insta-kill. Got it. Yeah, sweet. So, um... Do you think we can get to round 20 on this map? Yeah, I can. Alright. Um, what's your worst, what's your least favorite map? Should I ask? Maybe five? Yeah, well... I don't know, okay, it's still fun to play. Transit, those two don't count. <laughs> those two don't count. Those aren't zombie maps, those are stuff they added to have content that's not a real thing. <laughs> that's not real life. Um, maybe Shangri La, I don't know, just cause it's really hard. Yeah. Um, Shangri La, a lot of people, you're not definitely not a minority hating Shangri La. Um, and let me see, what other zombies? Yeah, I'll there? hold this. I'll take the zombie. You just keep it in the box. Freaking car on again. Like, I hate um, 5 in transit. My opinion on transit is kind of different. I think the idea of transit is really, really cool. I do too. Like, the idea of, like, you're in this town, mm -hmm. and, like, you have the diner, and all this kind of stuff, and you're kind of just surviving, like, this giant town. Yeah. is cool. I don't mind the fog they have, but I don't like those little creatures they have. Oh, well, hopefully you don't get stuck out in the fog. Yeah. But... Yo, let me say, the first time... Okay, so the, I think the first time I played Transit was online, and I actually yeah. got pretty far with a friend, or not a friend, but just some random guy. And those little teleporter things showed up on the ground in the diner area. Yeah. So I went and jumped on it and it teleported me out into the fog. And I was like flipping out like, what the fuck just happened? Where am I? And I was getting attacked by those things and I was just like mashing all my buttons at the same time. <laughs> was, I don't know, it was a really bad and funny experience all, this, all at the same time. That sounds, yeah. Um, for me, Transit, I think they did a good idea planning out Transit. But I think they try to add too much features. Yeah. And I think they just wanted to make a really big splash. Like, like obviously no one's going to know for sure. Except for the people at track. But I think, like, at the last second, they're, like, kind of worried about their map. Wasn't going to be good enough. Mm -hmm. So they added in some stuff. You're right, because right. if they would have had all, some of those, like, if they would have had those creature things in testing, when they, like, had people play their maps to see if it was any good, oh, it wouldn't... Know. Oh, I'm down. Oh, no, you killed him. Oh, uh, they would have definitely not have allowed that. <laughs> oh, you were right. When you got Dude, I'm red screening. Go train, go train. We're down. Ah. <laughs> Round right. 10. Round 10. <laughs> Too busy talking. Alright, well. Um, not bad, not bad. Yeah, that time I ran out of ammo. Yeah, I the ray gun for some reason was feeling more like a nerf gun. <laughs> Yo, the ray gun does a lot of damage to you, and since you can't buy jug or what is it, PDA, PhD flopper, then. Yep.